Welcome to our attachment video series. The goal of this series of videos is to provide you with installation, maintenance, features, advantages, and benefits, applications, some operating tips, removal, and storage of our John Deere Worksite Pro attachments. In this video, we're going to talk about the root rake. Let's start by connecting the attachment to a skid steer. The operator will need to maneuver the machine so that the quick attach lines up with the mounting plate on the back of the attachment. Tilt the attachment back and latch the quick attach. Before operating any attachment, always make sure to secure by pressing it on the ground to ensure the latches are locked in place. Next, the hydraulic hoses need to be connected. Before connecting any coupler to a machine, it's very important to clean both ends of the connectors. This will help keep any contaminants out of the hydraulic system. Connect to the return line first. This will take some of the hydraulic pressure off of the system and make it easier to connect the supply line. Some attachments require the use of a hose saver or boom mounted hose guide kit in order to safely route the hoses and keep them out of damaging pinch points. John Deere has an assortment of root rakes. They are the RR72, RR78, and RR84. Shown here is the RR84. Regular maintenance is key to the longevity and safe operation of any attachment. You should inspect the attachment for leaks in cylinders and hoses daily. Before operation, make sure the root rake is in good working order. The attachment should be lubricated every 40 hours of operation. There are eight grease points, four on each side of the rake. Let's talk about applications. The root rakes are designed to pick up bulky, unusually shaped, or long material while leaving the soil and small rocks behind. After moving the large debris, the root rake can be used to remove roots and other debris from under the soil. One example is the removal of bamboo. If you cut bamboo, it will splinter and the splinters will regrow. The root rake will allow you to dig up the roots and get rid of the plant altogether. Now let's talk about features, advantages, and benefits. The structure is made of a high tensile strength steel for long life and durability. The teeth are steel shank, pango penon that can dig below grade. The rear scarifier can be used to dig in and break up the surface. It can also be used as a guide for the teeth. The D-ring has a 6,000 pound rating that meets tie down requirements and can be used for pulling. This root rake has a 51 inch opening that will easily allow you to pick up 48 inch logs. Two hydraulic cylinders exert the clamping force and a pilot operated check valve locks the clamp into position. The grapple opening will not increase or decrease once the operator releases the control. The grease certs are recessed for protection. In order to keep safety a top priority, a heavy duty step has been placed conveniently on the frame of the attachment. This makes entry and exit from the machine simple and easy. Operating techniques differ between attachments. The root rake is especially useful in areas where you need large brush removal and subterranean root removal. To remove roots, angle the teeth so that they dig just under the surface. The root rake can also be closed and used to push material. At the end of the day, it is very important to be sure your attachment is clean and free of dirt and debris. To remove the attachment, first bring the machine to a complete stop and lower the attachment until it is securely resting on level ground. Turn off the machine and exit the cab. To unhook the couplers, it is recommended to detach the supply line first, then the return. It is recommended to press in and hold the male and female auxiliary port couplers to relieve system pressure. Once the couplers have been disconnected from the machine, connect them together to eliminate buildup of debris during storage. Return to the operator station to unhook the quick attach. Then tilt the coupler forward and slowly back out of the attachment. Be sure to store the attachment in a dry and safe environment when not in use. Leaving the attachment outside and exposed to the elements will significantly decrease its life expectancy. 